them steps, making so every move made me nothing but bigger, you feel me? But as, as, as far as that situation, shit, I'm acclimated, I'm good now, so I'm turned out here, you feel me? Ain't nothing stopping me. I got situated, I done locked in, got a grip on really what's going on out here, so now we just thriving, for real. Yeah, I want to say congrats to your, to your uh, newborn, too. I think he's, oh, what, yeah. a year ago? Hey, shit, man. Hey, I just feel old now. Crazy how time flies. Oh God, y'all look exactly alike too. That's really your twin. Yeah, people say that we don't went. We actually don't went viral on social media a couple of times about that, about how we look. You feel me? So yeah, did that make you? Um, was that your firstborn? Yeah, that was my firstborn. Did that make you? Um, change certain decisions in life because now it's not all about you. Now you have a, a son. You have somebody that, de that depends on you. You have a family. You know, does that, did it make you, you know, you're in the streets, you're in a lot of street shit, you know, did that make you look at things differently? Uh, my son, my son, like, man, I don't feel like, oh shit. <laughs> my son though, uh, I don't feel like necessarily, he ain't changed the plans, you feel me? He ain't changed the plans, he came in. He accented everything. He made everything better. But one thing I say my son did make me do, I definitely changed the way that I execute, like, my decisions to reach. But I got the same goal, you feel me? But I definitely changed the way that I execute a lot of shit and get get a lot of shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the collateral damage of a lot of shit. I ain't just winging it, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. So every decision you make, you know, you got to think about it twice. You know, yeah, you can't go, you can't come off emotion, thinking about how, that, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. that every decision I make, like what, like what it's gonna come from on everybody. Now it ain't really just about me type shit. I I think shortly after we did an interview, you you signed a deal. Yeah, uh, after after we had done an interview, I had done locked in with uh, Encore Recordings. You feel me? Great deal, structure great. Uh, I don't know if you know Joy, but he a great guy. Yeah. Cool dude. You feel me? I actually after I did a tape with them, I actually separated from that label you feel me i went on to do another a different deal which was not distribution i went and did a deal like that with hitmaker but now okay. right now i'm 100 percent independent all this i'm pushing out javante davis bitch shark i got some new shit coming blue nines all this just jk you feel me everything creative marketing i coming this all coming off me and you feel me shit my team that i got behind me. what was the size of of signing a deal uh, pros and cons of signing a deal. Pros definitely gonna be that you do got uh, I, it's never gonna be unlimited, but you do got large budgets and access to people who can make things smooth. You feel me? You can come up with a deal and how you wish your shit. You feel it basically help me brand, but I feel like it's also like like people are obligated to have in and you obligated to consideration. You feel me? I feel this, this is what people hearing what they loving right now. This is just it's in case swing and shit. You feel me? Like this just they me doing it how I do it. Yeah, and you know, and the reason I was because it was one point where you were just super consistent, and then I noticed like you slowed down a little bit yeah. on the music tip. I do feel like I do feel like a part of that came from being signed with a label, and like it's just like to get one thing done, it takes so many people to agree, and everybody head got to be level. Unless you just gonna say fuck it and, and buck out, but that ain't how I do my business. You feel me with with people so. It do take a lot to get everybody on one page, but at the same time, I feel like, shit, I had just came home. Uh, I had my son on the way within a few months of me being on, being just came home, you feel me? Like, uh, I had just bought my own first house. You know what I'm saying? I just had a lot of shit going on just as a man type shit that a nigga had to get like situated and coordinated because I was just coming home from being locked up, you know what I'm saying, incarcerated doing a bid, and I did just do that bid in a whole nother state. I had never been to Texas, never did none of that, but I moved for like the better of me type shit. But everything worked out for the best, cause right now I'm out here, I'm lit, and I don't feel like, I don't feel like shit never been this lit for me before. Yeah, I mean, you're all over the internet. I do yeah. want to address uh, the elephant in the room. Uh, Fulio passed away, yeah. well, he killed three weeks ago in Tampa. With the internet, I mean, I've, I've had, I got a relationship with, with pretty much every artist in Jacksonville. I know Fulio really well. Um, our last interview, I pretty much told him, you know, I mean, it's known, it's on the internet. Um, where were you, I mean, where, where were you at and like, how did you receive the news? Uh, shit, I received the news just like everything else. Like, 
nigga ain't nigga might not be in florida but it ain't too many things that's gonna go go on in florida especially not in my city that don't kind of cross come across my table come across my plate cross my phone whatever you want to say you feel me but they keep us in the loop they keep us tapped in so you know shit i find that similar to how everybody else find that you feel me yeah um what was the first the first emotion uh shit my first emotion i ain't gonna lie like that's a it's a it's a inner it was an inner child in me you feel me that made me want to go do the the dissing and, and the turn shit and all that you feel me but you know what I'm saying? i ain't gonna say like i ain't say shit i say my little one two or whatever but that ain't nothing that i get stuck up on and dwell on because at the same time whenever you see type shit like that it's always gonna be concerning because it does, in essence, kind of remind you of your own like mortality. You feel me? Mm. It kind of just show you like shit. Everybody could get caught up with. You feel me? So when you see shit like that, if you ain't on the right side of the fire, you need to be concerned. Yeah, I mean, people on both sides of the fence have died. A lot of you lost a lot of friends. He lost a lot of I friends. I haven't lost a lot of friends. I lost a I lost a few friends. I lost a few acquaintances and friends, but if we being like non-biased but just factual, like the loss count on that side of the fence is far more. Mm. You feel me? But like I said though, hearing that, like I'm not I'm not on here trolling nothing. Like when I when I say that, when I'm hearing that, it is still concerning because these type of things do just kind of flash to you. Like when that shit hit, that shit gonna hit whoever. You feel me? Yeah, so were, were you and Fulio ever friends? Because it's documentaries around. I was doing my homework, and it it makes it makes it seem like everybody was cool in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, in the in, in the Jacksonville scene, like we all from the same. There was points in time I wouldn't never say that everybody like they may be they may be misleading in a lot of them documentaries. I wouldn't say that everybody was never just friends or no shit. Like they was tied in, had a handshake and shit. But at the same time, like everybody was hopping off the porch around the same few years everybody was really first getting in the streets same few years so when when we when we in traffic and we doing all that shit and you young you do come in contact with a lot of different people and at the times it wasn't no smoke so you do come in contact with niggas and y'all be i wouldn't say friends but you be cordial with a lot of people you be knowing a lot of people just in the city you feel me especially if you outside for real now we all seen tonight um was around his birthday um and uh well on the 23rd and uh uh is is this so crazy how he used to to diss 23 and 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 all that and then everything came back to where as though you know even yesterday where i think three people got shot one lived this situation was flipped three people got i mean uh one person got killed three lived it was like the whole situation was like it was like Flip damn near. See, and it all this be written, bro. In Islam, we call it Al Qaeda. That means like divine predestination. Like everything that's what's going on, but this stuff God wrote, this stuff that like like I said, it just reminds you of our own like mortality. I could be my world and like I'm with the God is my tomorrow. Like I'm not a fit. So they can't get comfortable in dwelling on that. Oh, by